One of the victims of the 1997 Heath High School shooting is in the tri-state. She's sharing her story with Newport and Bellevue students. Missy Jenkins Smith is now in her 30s, a certified counselor and an author. She tells Local 12 Sydney Benter she never expected the boy she considered a friend was capable of killing her classmates. Being there that morning was something that I would never change. Missy Jenkins was 15 years old when she was shot by a classmate during a prayer circle. She'd never walk back out of Heath High School. I played soccer. I, I, I marched in the band. I was in choir, and we always had a production where we would dance and sing. And I knew that my life was changing because of what had happened and what he, because of the decision that he made. A bullet paralyzed Jenkins from the waist down. Now she wheels her way through hallways much like the one where her life changed forever almost 17 years ago. Jenkins believes it was bullying that turned a classmate into a killer. Michael didn't have anyone to listen to him whenever he was going through things. And so I think that's one of the key things. He just he let it bottle up and it exploded. Me being able to talk and spread my message helps me too. With the help of former newspaper writer William Croyle, Jenkins wrote a book about how she forgave Michael Carneal before she even left her hospital bed. I remember pestering her about that and saying there's no way. <laughs> I said people are not going to believe that. She said, I did, I did. She's even told the man who almost killed her in person that she forgives him. I, I told him, you know, that I, I that I liked him, that I considered him a friend, that I, I, I enjoyed his humor, that I liked him a lot. Jenkins says it's kind words like these that can make a difference in classrooms where bullying is all too common. That's why she's dedicated her second chance to sharing her story. Because I thought I was crazy for being okay with it, but I think I knew that God was telling me, listen, you're going to be okay. There's, there's good things in this, and you, you can find the good in anything. And I, and I think I found it. Three teenagers died on December 1st, 1997. Five others, including Missy, were hurt. Michael Carnell is serving 25 years to life in prison. Missy visited him in prison in 2007. She says at the end of their conversation, he apologized for what he'd done. Rob? Sydney, thanks very much and welcome to Channel 12. Missy's book, I Chose to Be Happy, was republished this summer and now includes discussion questions and talking points for teachers. To find out how to get a copy of her book, go to local12.com, click on the red Get It button, that'll take you there.